Glaucoma presents Simple Steps for Zen Gel Stent Insertion. Hello, my name is Dr. Constance Okeke and I'm a glaucoma specialist and cataract surgeon. Today I want to talk to you about Allergan's glaucoma device called the Zen Gel Stent, which was FDA approved in 2016. The stent is approximately 6 millimeters in length, made out of collagen-derived non-inflammatory gelatin material, and comes preloaded in a disposable Zen injector. It was engineered to provide an opportunity for surgical intervention of refractory glaucoma by decreasing the eye pressure through the mechanism of aqueous shunting to the subconjunctival space. Use of mitomycin C is needed to help with the success of the surgery and a diffuse bleb is created. I've been using the device myself since 2018. I'd like to share with you my technique that I learned and adopted from Ike Ahmed. It's called the Air Zen Technique and the approach is Ab Interno. It has really helped me to have excellent outcomes and I hope that it can help you as well. Let's go over the steps of the procedure. The Zen Gel Stent can be either done as a standalone option or combined with cataract surgery. Here I'm performing the standalone procedure in a phacic eye. First I mark the superior conjunctiva approximately 2 mm from the limbus with calipers. Next I inject air in the subconjunctival space with a 30 gauge needle which is followed by viscoelastic. The air separates the conjunctiva from the tenon's tissue and the viscoelastic maintains the depth of separation. Here I'm using Helon. This is done around the area of the conjunctival markings. Next I use a 20 gauge blade to create a paracentesis which is followed by anesthetic and then followed by viscoelastic to pressurize the anterior chamber. Next a keratone blade is used to make a infratemporal corneal incision for access of the Zen injector. Now I insert the Zen tip into the anterior chamber followed by use of a disposable gonio prism that allows me to see the Zen tip approach the superior area to the trabecular meshwork for engagement. Then using a Vera hook to infraduct the eye, I insert the tip of the Zen through the sclera to the subconjunctival space that I created with the viscoelastic. I insert the Zen stent and remove the injector slowly. I assess the angle with a gonio prism to assure that the Zen implant has at least one millimeter of length in the anterior chamber. I massage the Zen implant and make sure that the tip is freely mobile in the subconjunctival space. Then I remove the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber with bound salt solution and hydrate the corneal wounds. I can see that the Zen is working with the elevation of the bleb. I place mitomycin C in the subconjunctival area surrounding the Zen implant and then rinse. And then it's done. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please like the video and check out my other glaucoma videos on the iGlaucoma YouTube channel like the MIGS University series, the MIGS and Meds University series, and the newly upcoming MIGS Success Surgical Secrets. Also, be sure to check out any relevant links in the description box below. Thanks for watching the iGlaucoma YouTube channel, a place where glaucoma innovation is made easy for eye care professionals.